we are happy to have joining us Dr. Janice Dutcher, Professor of Medicine at the New York Medical College, and we are discussing metastatic kidney cancer. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Okay, so what about the continued need for immunotherapy? Well, I, I don't think we want to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Despite all of the enthusiasm of the targeted therapies, it's still true that immunotherapy with high dose interleukin-2 is the only treatment that can produce a cure in stage four kidney cancer. And those people can be disease free for decades. So I think that some of our newer data with phase three studies shows that we can select the people for whom this therapy will work and in fact will produce long-term disease free survival. Can you discuss sequence of targeted therapies? Well, this continues to be a, a major question, and there are a number of studies. People are still trying to figure out which drug to give first, which drug to give second, do you switch classes. What we're learning is that we need all of the drugs, and that, in fact, it seems that the body and the tumor can be reset to be sensitive to the same type of a tyrosine kinase inhibitor, one after the other perhaps with a small break. And it seems that that actually can be effective in our continued use of similar classes of drugs. Does this show you a greater need for the role of combination targeted therapies? Well, combinate, you know, the argument right now is do you do sequential single drugs or do you do combinations? And we still don't know the answer. There's some very promising data with some combinations. For example, Avastin in combination with mTOR inhibitors seem to be tolerable seem to produce responses, and may improve the outcome for patients treated with, say, single-agent mTOR inhibitors. However, combining with the other tyrosine kinase inhibitors has been very, very difficult. So I think the majority of people still prefer sequential, but I would keep in mind the Avast and mTOR combination, because I think that there are some real benefits for some patients. Doctor, is that your preference? In patients off study who are failing an mTOR inhibitor, when I've added a Vastin to that combination, I've seen some remarkable stabilization of their situation. So not as an upfront combination, but certainly if I need to improve on the activity of one or the other group of drugs, I might add it, yes. Dr. Dutcher, thanks for stopping by and sharing some of your expertise and opinions with us. Well, thank you very much for the invitation. I appreciate it. Brilliant. Dr. Janice Dutcher, Professor of Medicine at the New York Medical College.